Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can make an umbrella big loop antenna for your crystal radio very quickly. So what we need is of course the umbrella. You need the big ones, uh, maybe diameter wise around 0.8 meter or so, or even one meter. And then you need the wire. You can use this type of 0.5 square millimeter wire. Or you can use the list wire. The list wire is good for only AM radio reception. It's not good for short wave or FM uh, because it has multiple threads that are isolated and it will create a big capacitance which is not good for FM short wave, those high frequency, but it's very very good for middle wave and long wave. So today we'll use this type of regular copper wire. It's insulated and there's around 0.5 millimeter square of copper inside. And lastly you need as many as this comes that you can uh, you can get from the market or when you stay in the host uh, in the hotel you can get it from there usually give away free of charge so you have the narrow and the wide one and you can clip together so we'll use this finally you need the, the twist tie to tie this to the umbrella. Okay, so let's start. First, we need to tie this into the umbrella. So we'll do this, take a piece of wire and we'll pass it through this narrow opening here. Insert it here so it will make a ring and it will not fall whether you open it or leave it. Okay, and then you uh, twist it a bit and then you will create a small small ring like that. Okay, and then you can hang it to your umbrella. Hang it like that and then you can continue to twist, 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 twist like that. Okay, let me give you a close look. So this is how this is twisted. Okay. And then you repeat this step for the egg beams of the umbrella. Okay, let me finish this offline. After that, you need to take a small piece of wire like that. Pass it uh, under the beam like that and then tie this in place so it won't get loose okay. okay like this Okay, so let me do this for everyone. And remember this should be around one inch at the tip of the beam. So now we have everything ready. This is tight and it's around one inch to the tip of the beam. You can uh, open and clip it. So let's start winding. So let's put it close to the top and tie a little knot. Okay, like this. And then clip it. And then go to the second one. And then we clip it. Third one. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. 
and then this is the second time so you if you make a one cm apart so altogether you need about eight turns to ten turns and it will give you sufficient inductance to connect to a variable capacitor of around 350 pf and to create a parallel tuned resonance circuit for the crystal radio so this whole loop uh, is detachable you can uh, detach it from your umbrella and use it stand alone as a, a loop hanging on a tree or uh, stand it with some bamboo and then you have a very good back loop antenna you can also connect this back loop antenna uh, to replace a crystal radio circuit where you need an antenna and ground just connect one end to antenna the other end of the loop to the ground of your crystal radio you will be able to function like that uh, to replace your antenna in case you can't find one okay we've done eight turns now let's use this inductance meter to test what is the inductance of this egg turned back loop okay it's around 108 micro henry which is enough for a crystal radio okay we can stand the umbrella it's quite stable The umbrella diameter is around 0.8 meter, so it's very good for receiving uh, the wireless wave. You can see the turns need to be evenly distributed. You can do this by counting the number of teeth in the comb. So every two or three teeth you can put a wire in. and you can shrink the umbrella, close it and put it in your backpack and ready for the next field trip that's all for today, thanks for watching click like if you like my video and subscribe too, thank you